Hey, let's spend the new year getting even stronger. If it seems like it takes more to build those muscles as you are aging, you are right. It does. That's why it's so important to make sure that you're doing some kind of weight resistance training twice a week, three times as good as well. We don't want to all of a sudden find that our everyday tasks become problematic. So grab your weights, join me. This is just 10 minutes, do it two to three times a week and get stronger. Let's start with a lunge. That'll put some weight on that quad to strengthen it. We are gonna do a compound move. We're gonna push those weights to the floor and bring them to our hips and then push them to the floor and take them out for our deltoids and bring them in and push them out, out and bring them in. Now, I love compound moves because it works all the muscles at a different angle and it also works your brain. So push them down, swing them out, bring them down and in. Push them down and out, down and in. So we're working the biceps and the deltoids toward the floor, out, good. Let's face the front and do just toward the floor and squeeze the triceps back and work the biceps forward. It's good to know why you need to work the muscles. The biceps help push and pull things and they also help pick up things like laundry baskets, your water pail for mopping, packages, grandchildren. So push those to the floor, squeeze the triceps back. Push them to the floor, squeeze the triceps back to the floor. Excellent. Now let's just do our deltoids out and in and out and in. Deltoids help you take things away from your body and in and out. Maybe you're reaching across to grab something or taking off your jacket. Got to take things away from your body and that's where the deltoids come in. And out. Give me one more. Great. Let's lunge the other way so we're working this quad as well. And now we're going to focus on biceps a little more. Reach and pull, but we're going to make it a compound mood by including the rotator cuffs up. Palms up and in. And reach up and in. Palms up for the biceps and in. Rotator cuffs and in. Palms up but toward the floor. In and up and in. And reach and in. This one you can really feel how you would be taking something from somebody. And in, you're doing great. And forward, and in, and up. Great. Face me again, and let's just do the biceps toward the floor, squeeze the triceps back. But what we're gonna do is get a little higher each one. Reach toward me, and out, a little higher, Good, now just keep them shoulder level as you squeeze those triceps back. Reach out to take something with your biceps. And out, and in, and out, and in. Give me one more. Good, now we're going to do deltoids, or I should say rotator cuffs, and in. But you do feel the deltoids as well. And up and in. Now, the rotator cuffs give the shoulders range of motion. And up. So do the deltoids. Great. Now, we're going to do a little bit of combined compound again, which will use a little bit of your balance and your muscles. We're going to step our right heel back. Give me a punch and a punch, 
and bring that foot in. Reaching behind you, test your balance. Plus you're working your brain and your arms. Punch, punch, bring that foot in. And punch, punch, bring that foot in. Good, let's try the other side. Reach back first, then punch, and punch, bring it in. Testing your balance behind you. And in. Now we're gonna go back to the first side, reach back, punch, punch, and bring up a knee. Reach back, testing our balance a little more by lifting that knee. But if it's too much, just bring the foot in. But test it a few times so you stimulate your balance reflexes. Great, let's try the other one. Reach back and punch and punch, bring up a knee. Reach back and punch and punch, knee. Reach back and punch. One more, reach back and punch and punch and a knee. Excellent. Let's take and bring those weights to our shoulders. We're gonna work the lower body a little bit by squatting back. Then we're gonna reach overhead and put something on that high shelf and squat and opposite arm. Squats, of course, are good for the knees. They're good to keep your strength to get in and out of the chair, in and out of the car, up, and down and up and shoulder strength overhead can diminish so fast as we age. If you start to hurt, stop. We don't want to work in pain, but we do want to strengthen those shoulders so we can lift things up into our closets. Give me two more. Make sure you're pushing your hips back, sinking back into your heels. Excellent, great job. We're gonna go to the triceps. Just face the corner, very easy. We're gonna stretch those triceps back and bring them in. It's good to keep the triceps in shape because they propel the elbow. So you can see that you're taking something off again behind you and bringing it in and using those elbows and they tie into the biceps and back and in good let's face the other way and this time we're going to repeat it but we're going to bring the arms up a little higher and then you can feel how the triceps pull those elbows in the direction we need to go. Especially important when you're taking off a shirt, right? So you can take those arms overhead. Or if you're working overhead, right? Dusting or doing your hair, need those elbows to move and those triceps, but bring them up a little higher. And up. Let's leave this one up and just alternate toward the ceiling, strengthening those triceps. You're looking strong. Great, let's swing those weights down and give me some shoulder rolls, which will also help strengthen those shoulders, get the blood into them. About four forward, and then four the other way. Because we're gonna take two steps forward and set those weights down. And without weights, we're gonna use the weight of our arm to work our core a bit. So stand feet past hip distance apart where you can lunge side to side. We're gonna take this arm up as a lever or lever and many of you have done this across crunch, but we're gonna add an element to it 
so that the second one, we add a twist to the side. And then crunch. And overhead, stretch that arm back and crunch down. And now to the side. You can use this hand for a little support. And overhead and crunch down. This I feel great in my back and my core. Give me one more. And up and crunch down. Now behind you sideways and down. Remember, any pain, just back off and try it again another time. We're going to take this arm as a lever and reach it down. Then we're going to go to the side with a little twist, working that waist, and then go down. And bring it up and down. And bring it side and down. And reach up high and down. And bring it side, open that chest. And one more, breathe in. Exhale down, breathe in, exhale down. Take the two hands, clasp them in back and stretch those deltoids. Oh, that feels so good. Expand that chest. Then touch your shoulders and stretch those triceps up. Good, reach one arm up and reach it higher. Reach the other arm up and reach them up higher and just round that back. I love bringing you different moves. It tests your fitness level and your brain. So keep it moving and be strong. Here's to feeling good.